we assume that very first this session should be started so once this is completed this one should be started this is like a serial one right sequential one then once this is completed see all these three should be running parallel okay running parallel once these three are completed this one should be triggered then we have to trigger this one then this one you assume that this is the one so control yes you can make arrange or arrange horizontally so it will be arranged like this you can see here so this is the one now you can see the logic right how would you be running very clearly it is showing that so this is what first it will be started then next one next one next one okay so double click on it each and every session we have to give the all the connection and everything just we are giving that so this is non reusable session right non reusable session so each and every time you should know what is reusable non reusable uh, so why we will go for reusable or non reusable that you have to be very clear so we are creating all the sessions so based on the dependency table dependency for an example how the table dependency if, are, if they are asking so first we will take all the customer related data cust data customer data then user data then account details okay then we will take all the remaining uh, dimension table then fact table load that that's what the de dependency will have just i'm saving this i'm going to run it see it will run once this is completed it will get triggered once this is completed these three will run parallelly okay these three will run parallelly if there is no dependency you can go for parallel run no issues we can go parallel run and as i told you can go for reusable session also reusable session you can drag and drop this session here that's called reusable session okay once these three are completed then it get triggered okay just what i am going to do here i will be making status equal to succeeded otherwise what will happen status equal to succeeded so normally this one we are making for all the sessions all the sessions double click if the session got failed fail parent if the stars fails always config object make the stop on error equal to 1 control s see why we are making stop on error equal to 1 in real time if you are running this workflow okay in this session it has 1 million record so only one record is coming from the source okay only one record is coming from the source is invalid record okay because of that one record it is failing so normally you do not have control to delete the record from the source what can we do process our informatica flow first of all we have to inform them to the source team one record we are receiving a invalid record next time you please make sure that you should not send any record like this okay that's what we have to explain them and also we have to remove that record but we do not have any control to remove it what we can do in informatica we can make stop on error equal to zero if you are making stop on error equal to zero even if it has one error record this session will not fail one error the session will not fail see out of 1 million record that one record will get rejected other record will get loaded successfully so that is what the use of stop on errors in real time okay once this is see for each and every session we have to give status equal to succeeded so you can go for you can go for any other condition along with status equal to succeeded you can double click on the link task on the link task status equal to succeeded just you can make status equal to succeeded for all the session you have to make just i am making one here only three uh, link task i have made it if you this is a three junction right this is three junctions see all the three should be completed then only this will get triggered right so how so can we make see if any one of the session got completed can we make this session as a start yes we can we can to we can make it treat the input link as and it is nothing but we have the three input links here all the three input links should be succeeded then only this will get triggered if any one of the link is failed our session is failed then we want to make it we have to make it like succeeded we have to execute this one we have to make it like r r means any one of the link is succeeded then it will get triggered all the three is failed then this will not get succeeded you are seeing some parallel run you want to do any one of the link has been completed 
you can trigger this one then you can make treat the input link as r r r and so this is the use of this one whenever you are having multiple link okay so now i'm going to run it start or flow what will happen now see if you right click on the white space we are the start or flow so it will get started look at here based on the dependency it will start running one by one so once this is completed next session will run after that the three session will be running parallelly this is what it will go look at here the order it is running parallelly java transformation will fail it has failed and because of this because of this fail then this is what you are seeing that it got stopped now okay it got stopped okay look at here why it has failed just we have to analyze it right so we have to analyze it why it got failed we'll go with get run properties here itself we can see wrt means writer thread that is what you have to always have to make it table or view does not exist so we will check the first step you are getting this error then we will check whether it is failing due to the connections yes it is a connection so it got failed now already already these four session got completed right these four session completed we should not run again these four this one from this these four you have to start these four we have to start okay normally if any one of the session got failed in real time we will be having restart mechanism okay restart mechanism how to run the workflow from where we have left off uh, we, we have to start it so if this is session got failed from here we have to run right right side we have to run how to run it see if you are going with this right click on the session right click on the session see right click on the white space you will be finding start or flow right start or flow but here right click on the session you will be finding one option called start task start task means this session alone will be started start workflow from task means from here to right hand side it will start but here i cannot give start workflow from task why because here i have the link task three junction we have since already two are completed we cannot give from here right hand side just we have to start from here start task this alone will be executed start task just to execute that alone so that is what the start or flow and start task start or flow from task what is it start task means that session alone will be started this session alone will be started it's running now it got succeeded now okay what we have to do now see all the four five session got completed already from here we have to start from the right hand side so no need to do one by one if you, if you do the start task you, you have to do one by one but here you can go for start workflow from task See, start workflow from task. So I'm going with from here, right hand side, it will start. I hope you are clear. Start workflow, start task, start workflow from task. These three options. Okay, we have. So normally, this is what we will be giving restart mechanism whenever we are going to handle multiple sessions in single workflow. Multiple sessions in single workflow, we have to give them the support team, we have to give them the KT itself, okay, this doesn't have any reset mechanism. This is what you have to start. Then they will do it. All the three session is get completed right now. Okay, this is what we can go for. Start task, start or flow from task all this. Once this is completed, it will succeed this workflow. That's what all the session got completed. Normally we will do in our development environment. 